Alright, how's it going guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. In today's video, we're going to talk about easy level 100 grinding in Pokemon Sword or Shield. Now before I even start this video, if you're one of the 68.5% of people who are not subscribed to my channel and like my videos, make sure you get subscribed, hit the like button, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss any Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And also... This video is not going to really help you a whole lot if you're still early on in the game. This is going to best benefit you if you have completed the game, you've defeated the champion, and you have at least access to 5 star raid battles. So that's the main thing we're going to worry about here since uh, you're going to need candies like the EXP candies to level up. So if we look at this raid battle here, this is a 5 star and it's also golden. They don't have to be golden to yield the good EXP candies that you're going to need for this guide. But it is recommended that if you do find gold ones that you go ahead and do these raids. You do not have to catch these Pokemon in order to get the rewards from them. As long as you defeat the raid, uh, if the Pokemon pops out of the ball, you still get the rewards. So you don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to show you in my bag here. I have uh, quite a few different EXP candies. I have extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. Now what these do is they give you a set amount of experience per item. So the largest one is going to be 30,000 here. These are the ones we're really going to be focusing on in this tutorial. So you get these from 5 star raids. Uh, sometimes you get 1 to 3. It's usually around 1 to 3 and you'll also get like a couple of large ones along with it. So basically you're going to want to hoard these up. You get them quite quickly if you do a lot of raids. So just keep hammering the raids and you'll get tons of candies. And also uh, we're going to talk about rare candies in this video as well. If you have a lot of rare candies early in the game. If you're watching this and you haven't beat the game yet. Do not use your rare candies. Save them. Trust me you'll thank me later. Rare candies give you a level no matter what experience is needed for the Pokemon to go to the next level. So if your experience bar is empty and you use a rare candy, you're going to the next level no matter what. Whereas with an experience candy, you only get the experience that the candy gives you. So if you need 60,000 experience to go to the next level and you use one of these candies, you're only going to get half of that experience needed. So once you get to a higher level, especially on Pokemon that have like erratic XP curves and stuff like that, you're not going to want to keep using these. Like, let's say you get to level 86. You're not going to want to keep using these. What you're going to want to do is just fill in your gaps with your rare candies. If you truly want to get to level 100, use the rare candies for the higher level stuff. Because you're going to use so many candies that it's going to be ridiculous. So if you hit level 90 and you want to use your candies for another Pokemon, definitely do that. Use your rare candies to fill in the gaps. Don't use your rare candies on low levels. It's a waste. So I have a level 1 Magikarp in my party here and what we're going to do is we're going to click on the XL candies here and you can use as many of these as you want on your Pokemon like you don't have to do them one at a time. So once I click on this I click on Magikarp you can see that I can select how many I want to use. Now also let's please note that it will only allow you to use the amount of candies needed to get to the max level. So if I hit down you can see that it says 42. I have 48 of these. So it's only going to let me use 42 of these candies on Magikarp. But we don't want to do that because Magikarp has the potential to evolve. You also have to keep that in mind. So if you're trying to level a Pokemon up to 100 and it, and it has you know one or two evolutions, be mindful to the evolutions because if you hit level 99, you're not going to be able to evolve. So I'm going to just go ahead and use like 30 of these candies on this Magikarp. And you'll see that it counts up the levels. You can't skip this by pressing the button. So we're going to go ahead and do that. That puts me at level 89. Not too bad. Magikarp's going to learn a bunch of moves. So you're going to have to go through that stuff with every Pokemon. But then it's going to evolve. So now we have a Gyarados. And this is where I'm going to show you how it's sort of a waste to keep using the candies to level up. Gyarados obviously is going to have a little bit of a different experience curve than Magikarp. So we're going to see how many candies it takes to get it from 
level 80, 89 to level 100. So it's actually going to let me use 12 of the candies. So I would only need 12 candies to make this go to 100 from where it is. Now, if you don't want to level it to 100, you don't really have to. If you're doing competitive battles and stuff, it'll auto level it to 50 or whatever the level is required. Um, if it's a higher level than what it is, it will not scale it up, I don't believe. So basically all you have to do is just hoard up a whole bunch of these candies. You can level up level 1 Pokemon all the way to 100 pretty easy. Like as you can see, I still have 18 candies left. I also still have uh, large candies. So that's really all you have to do. This video is not going to be like super, super exciting because it's literally just me showing you how to use items. But this is a really easy way to farm level 100 Pokemon. So once you beat the game, just ride around the wild area, uh, collect Watts. You're also going to get Watts while you're doing this. And just hammer out these raid battles and get your level 100 Pokemon so that you can make competitive Pokemon and stuff. So hopefully this guide helped you guys. If you liked the video, click like. Get subscribed if you're not subscribed. Ring the bell for notifications for when I upload a video or go live. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.